Hi, one of the most popular questions from the interview is to find the cycle in a graph. In this case, we can use DFS. Let's see the example. So here is the graph and we have a cycle here. And while DFS traversal, if an already visited node is found, graph has cycle. Let me show you the example. I'm going to start from zero. So I'm going to push the zeros into the stack. And I'm going to put this in the current and uh, put the neighbors in the stacks. Since we put every neighbors from zero, I'm going to put zero in the visited list and mark it as visited. And I'm going to pop this out to the current. And I'm going to put every neighbors except for visited nodes. So I'm going to push four. I'm going to push five. And since I put every node you know, adjacent to the two, I'm going to move this current to the visited and mark it to as visited. And pop this out to the current and going to push every neighbor except for vegetative nodes. So I'm going to push four into the stack. And I'm going to move to this visited list and mark it as visited. I'm going to pop this to the current. Since these two are already visited, I'm going to push this to six to the stack and move this to the visited. Mark four as visited and pop six to the current. And uh, since there is no neighbor, so I'm going to just move this to the visited. And mark 6 as visited. Move 4. Since there is no item I can push in the stack, I'm just going to move this to the visited list. I'm going to move 1 to the current. And the 1 has a neighbor we haven't visited yet, so I'm going to push 3 here and move 1 to the visited and mark 1 as visited then 3 there's no neighbor so I'm going to move 3 to the visited and mark 3 as visited here we have the 2, 4 that means we already have this visited node but we have one more 4 that means this graph has cycle if you are interested in the DFS Python code, you can go here and download and take a look. Thank you very much. See you on next video.